Oh, and welcome to YouTube video. We almost have a light gone here, but hey, it's still a better video than complete dark. The purpose of this video for this 2007 Newmar Mountaineer model 45231 one owner, beautiful coach, is to show you everything inside out, good and bad, mostly good, very few bad. Uh, speaking of bad, we got 3M film. That's typical, 2007, 10-year-old coach. You can remove that 3M film if you have a lot of time on your hand on weekend, you can remove it or leave it alone, okay? It, it, it's developing a little bit of a mildew spot. Nothing wrong with the clear coat underneath. Uh, Diamond Shield, you can call those folks. They can charge you six, seven, eight hundred dollars and they come remove it. Uh, windshield is free from any scratch or star crack. I see one barely right there. Uh, may not be, it could be a bug, but it's very nice. No visible damage on the windshield. Uh, slide out generator is located right here. And let me show you how that works. Just a uh, button here somewhere. There he is. Other way. So he slides out here. It's a uh, Onan Quiet Diesel 10,000 watts generator. Twenty three hundred hours, really good condition. So you'll hear me repeating this over and over. It's a one owner, South Carolina garage cap motor home. So it was kept in a garage. Husband passed away, and a widow wants to sell it. So that's how we got it. Beautiful paint scheme. No foggy windows like some other motorhomes out there. We got a Continental. 315 big white tires. I think the date codes are so 2015, 2114. I'm sorry, I take it back. 21 week of 2014 could have been installed two, three years ago. Good tires in the front. Slide out topper in really good shape. We got a cloth window awnings. Beautiful full body paint. Let's step back and look at this and appreciate the paint, full paint. Just gorgeous earth tone colors. White, cream gray black just a beautiful color scheme we got an lp tank located right here pretty big lp tank only time you're going to use that it's for gasto because it has electrical refrigerator inside lots of underbelly storage huge underbelly storage this is a 45 footer rides on a mountain climber spartan chassis we got a dual slide out tray that opens up on this side take a look at this we got a over here we have a hydro hot aqua hot heating system touch of a button water would heat up quickly we got a power cord here TV connection, cable hookups. We got some basement lights here. I haven't seen many flaws on this coach. It's in really good shape. Maybe a little neck here and there, but really nice condition motorhome. Only 23,000 miles. We got electric power. Oh, it's a spring loaded. I take it back. Spring loaded. Wash bay out here. Another sewer hose housing. These are, I believe, original tires, but take a look at it. No dry rotted cracks in really good condition. It was garage cap. Uh, if you like to have new tires, six tires, uh, you can knock yourself out. It'll be about anywhere from three to five thousand dollars, depending on a brand new put on. But this tire is in good shape. Plenty of trade with only 23,000 miles. Um, See, no stress crack on the slide. This is a Newmar quality compared to some other motorhomes. Uh, all the uh, seals are in really good shape. No water leaks, no issues. You will see it inside. It's a very clean motorhome. Side mount radiator. It's got ISL 450 horsepower Cummings turbo diesel. Take a look at this engine here. 
clean. No rust issue being a South Carolina coach. Uh, must have SMI, the air connection for your tow car. We've got a seven pin connector, uh, Reese type three hitch. It should be 15,000, if not minimum of 10,000 towing capacity. We've got the big mud guard back here. Before we go up top, let's finish the exterior video. On this side, passenger side, step back and take a look at it. Beautiful, beautiful skin. Daylight's kind of going out, but you can still see the visual effect of this coach. No D lamps, straight body. Just, by the way, batteries are located right here. Some compartment on the side. Tires again, really good shape, four slide outs. Got another window awning on our bedroom. Got docking lights, got LED lights for this. We got outside entertainment, check it out. We got a big Vizio TV. I believe it is a Vizio, yes. It is an upgraded LCD Vizio TV. It comes out and uh, let's see. My hat's coming undone, let's see. Oh, there you go. So you can move it around. Oh, it's got a little, got a Sony Explode speaker, uh, radio, DVD, or video player, or CD player. So that's your outside entertainment. That slide out tray I showed you on the other side, it's the same thing. It comes out on this side, a lot easier. There's no slide on top. So this is probably one of your, a lot easier. Well, I take it back. The other one is a complete pass-through slide. This one is a slide on this side. This is the complete slide out. That slide out tray comes on this side as well. And you can see it. Got a tray, uh, what do you call the ladder that goes with the coach. Very clean. Oh, there are some uh, tire covers or window covers. Let's see what these are. I think these are window covers for uh, beach camping or camping where a lot of suns are. You could see out, but they can't see in. Janturi muffler system. Uh, all that stuff goes with it. outside Norco refrigerator on a slide out tray. It's actually freezer also. So it'll work on 12 volt or 120. How about that? So this is really tailgate ready. You got a refrigerator, freezer outside, a TV outside. So it's ready to tailgate. So we made a complete circle on this motorhome. We got electric awnings with the remote controls, driver and, and uh, uh, I mean, entrance awning and a patio awning. It also has a remote access in your hand and a numerical pad here. How about that? Uh, nice steps. Tell you what, let's get up on top and show you the solid roof, uh, fiberglass roof construction. So some of these guys, they, they like to check out the roof. And if they are physically can't go up there, I'm gonna do that for you. So let's check out the roof. All right, check out this bright white roof. I mean, I gotta put my glasses on, it's that bright. It's in really, really good condition, fiberglass roof. What is important that you wanna see on a fiberglass roof? All the caulking, take a look at it. No dry rotted -right cracks on any of the silicone. Uh, look at this, three roof air conditioners on our top. None of the uh, shrouds are cracked up or, or hit the trees and, you know, broken. None of that issue. Um, the front seal, take a look at it. No cracking. Uh, there are two factors in this motorhome. It was garage capped, so not much of a sun damage when it was not being camped. So that's another reason. Also, you're supposed to, every few years, you're supposed to get up on top and seal your caulking in here, so otherwise water would come south. Um, got a little bit of clear coat coming off. That's typical being a 2007. It's anyhow you cut it, it's 10 years old. 
but look at all the on uh, the fiber or what do you call the uh, slide out toppers they're not tattered up any sun damage over here we have a acrylic cloth type tart I mean thick material it's not a vinyl so uh, so since we've seen this roof no issues on a roof a uh, solid fiberglass roof in really good condition no worries all right let's get back down and finish this video I'm in the front of the motorhome in a driver's seat. I'm going to crank the engine up while my video lady, my daughter, is in the back. Let you hear the engine. Engine has cranked up. My dock lights are on. Let's, uh... All right, so no trouble there with only 22 or 20. We're going to check that 23,000 miles on ISL 450. It's one of the best motor Cummins makes. So, uh... As you see, there's some LED lights right here. We've got docking lights. All right, let's step in. I can't wait till you guys come in, check this motorhome out inside. Very nice, it's odor free. No cigarette smoke odor. So come on in this nice motorhome. You could see yourself camping if you call this a camping. Four slide, beautiful marble tiling here. And I'll turn the engine off. We still have the engine running. By the way, uh, let me start in the front right here where the engine cranks up. It has a, let's see if I can find my, it has a little, uh, a little, right here so it's hard to find but so you could do a telescopic or tilt so tilt and telescopic steering wheel all right we're gonna fire this baby up again i'll just turn it off all right we have a backup monitor that i'm going to it's got an information here that's a right signal that's a left signal And you got all this trip meter and all that stuff. You can coach monitoring system. We have a CD player. Um, with the six CD changer. We have a navigation located here. We got two port for two phones, charger. We may have one on this side. Six bit Allison automatic leveling jack. So you just, what do you do on this coach? You hit it once and hit it again. The coach is dropping, releasing air in every airbags, power windows, and it'll level the coach itself. So that's how it works. Oh man, I just hit the miles a minute ago. Ha <laughs> ha! I haven't given up on it. 23,528 miles. So that's what the miles are. All right jacks down the light has just came on and uh it's annoying beeping which is uh has a purpose of it it's telling you do not drive your coach off it's uh i'm gonna probably stop the stop the uh, leveling right now and turn the system off all right let's uh it's got power seats here that's the remote for the awning we have two sets of keys with the two remote control for entering the coach, locking coach, all that. Uh, passenger seat has a power recliner. Also the power step. Uh, by the way, these are heated seats. How about that? And it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ways power seats. We got a lock unlock button here. We got entrance light, map lights, all that stuff's here. Visor, it's got electric visor. Beautiful wooden cabinet that you would expect from Newmar. TV up here. We got a little monitoring panel here. Uh, it's got auto gen start, so you know you set the parameters. Your generator can come on itself. Scare lights, uh, thermostat, all that stuff is located right here. All right, so over here, we've got a sofa that has a pull-out pull full bed, air mattress, 
Take a look at this ultra leather, really good shape. It's got a couple of little stain, but nothing, no tears or anything like that, okay? Uh, we haven't had a detail since we got the coach. I love this sort of a U-shaped booth, booth dinette, so you can sit here and relax back here, you know, uh, instead of just a wall. This thing also opens up and has extra leaf, so you can extend this thing up to out, out here. All the books and records, remote controls, uh, Spartan chassis, owner's manuals, all these things are with the coach. It's not a repo. This, this motorhomes are like uh, airplanes. Without books, they're worth less. All the lightings, they got like two dimmers in them. Got a day and day and night shades. Take a look at them. They're in really good shape. No condensation stains. Very well capped coach. Uh, speaking of a tile, I don't see any any uh, uh, crack tile entrance by entrance. Look at my picture. It's got a hair crack. There are extra tile that came from factory. They are in the coach in the back. We have a Fisher and Pikel dishwasher, two burner Princess gas stove, and that's the only reason we have a LP tank. If you wanted to spend a little extra money, you could get rid of the LP tank and put an electric stove, and this would be complete electric coach. Nice marble tops, backsplash. We got a microwave convection oven. I love these stained glass windows on every. Uh, A light comes on as soon as you open the doors. I like that. Lots of drawers and they're pretty deep. Wow. So lots of storage. All right, over here we have a nice Samsung household refrigerator with a freezer on the bottom. That is a nice upgrade. Center part of the coach, we have a stereo system, surround sound, wind guard satellite dish up on top. It's a motorized automatic satellite, midship TV, some cabinet up on top. All right, let's come in the center where we have a slide out. Let's see. It has a mirror on the back of it, because I just saw myself, how about that? It's got a washer-dryer combo, more cabinets. Over here we got some counter space, nice marble or Korean type, Korean, Korean countertop. Medicine cabinets. How about a hair dryer too? Lots of cabinets. Have a glass enclosed shower, a little handicap chair. This is a tall coach. This is a seven feet tall coach. I love it. Now we have a private toilet, water closet with another sink and some cabinet room. I mean, medicine cabinet. Well, this is where your electric breaker panel is. Electric flush china toilet. Take a look at it. All the walls in a straight good condition. Uh, no water leaks. Just a very well kept one owner motorhome. Hard to find because it is not a repo. We have another pocket door that gives you complete privacy back in the bedroom. in the bedroom. Two slides out. Gives you plenty of room as you can see here. King size bed. More cabinets and this TV slides out. How about that? It's a clever idea. Or you can watch it from here if you'd like. Lots of vanity counter space. Lots of drawers. 
deep drawers. Over here, we got some more cabinets in the back and a deep coat closet. Check it out with a shoe rack or shoe closet, if you would call that. And there's also in a corner a safe on the floor where you can put your firearm or some cash or whatever, valuables. Both side of the bed you have a small but little corner tables. More cabinets up on top. So it's got lots of room. I love the beautiful woodwork that Newmar you would see from them. That They do really good woodwork. Uh, carpet is very nice and clean. Usually we take our shoes off, but it's, it's so clean. Uh, we'll put some plastics down. Uh, this will conclude our inside outside video. Usually I uh, end my video with a test drive, but in this coach, I just drove it from Walhalla, South Carolina to Greenville, South Carolina. Runs excellent. Uh, 23,000 miles, two new tires in the front, garage cap to sum it up it's a one owner south carolina coach garage cap upgraded refrigerator uh odorless interior just a nice coach i'll recommend third party inspection uh if you're a first time buyer i would highly recommend that uh, you can pick your own i'll take the coach there or i have some folks i can recommend you that the third party their mobile tech they can come the coach out for you they can check the coach out for you and if you're a veteran RV owner had lots of motorhomes. We're gonna guarantee when you come here, everything will will be working. Air conditioners, uh, water system has no issues. You know, we'll make sure it'll be a turnkey motorhome. Uh, I do take trades, so call me with your trades, uh, motorhomes or cars or trucks. No classic autos. I don't mess with them. But uh, give me a call. My number is 864-404-0054. The number again is 864- 404-0054. I prefer text communication, but if you don't know how to text, just leave me a voicemail. I'll get back to you. Thank you and have a great day. Thanks for watching my video.